Junior handlers are the future of our sport, and this evening we are privileged to watch the finals of our junior showmanship competition. Young handlers between the ages of 9 and 18 competed all year long, both academically and in the show ring, to earn a spot in this year's competition. To qualify, handlers must have five wins in the open class with competition and have maintained a 3.0 grade point average. Earlier today, 126 juniors competed in the Junior Showmanship preliminary rounds, which were judged by Ms. Cassandra R. Clark from Tustin, California, and Mrs. Linda Clark from Tulsa, Oklahoma. They each selected six finalists, and now the 12 competitors you're about to see will compete for the Best Junior Handler Award. Our stewards are Dr. Charles Garvin, AKC board member Ms. Maribeth O'Neill, AKC Assistant Vice President, and Mrs. Patty Proctor. Judge Miss Helma Weeks from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Please welcome Mrs. Weeks. Now, may we have the Junior Showmanship finalists to the ring, please. We want to acknowledge and thank Yukonuba, who will award scholarships to all four placements in this best junior competition. And here come the parade of juniors. Again, you heard that cut down from today. Over 100 of them here. We have the best of the bunch. And interesting, Gina, the focus here isn't on the dogs, it's on the handlers. That's right. So each junior handler will be judged on their presentation of the dog. It's not the confirmation of the dogs that's judged, but the skill of the handlers. So we have a variety of different breeds in here, though there are some that pop up more than others. Like you see like Dobermans are very popular as junior handler dogs, the setters and the pointers. We have a few of those in here tonight. So there are certain breeds that have a technique to presenting them that it's different and the judge wants to make sure that that technique is used. For example, with the pointer and the Irish setter, they hold the head and the tail. The Doberman, they often bait the dog. And so each junior will develop their own style, but they'll also be, you know, using the techniques that they've seen their mentors use in the rings. What's that process like to find your own style after learning some of the basics? Well, I competed as a junior handler, so I can comment a little bit. It's really what are you most comfortable with so that when you're in the ring and you're nervous and you're still trying to make sure your dog looks its best, what do you do to keep yourself calm and what do you do so it's almost automatic. There are certain things that you'll do. And interesting to see how this goes Could you along. Take them around one more time and then stop there again. And Mrs. Helma Weeks from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania wants to have them take another loop around. Maybe that'll help loosen the nerves <laughs> a little bit <laughs> it too. It does help a little bit, both the dog and the person. Again, some of the preliminary events in some of the smaller venues around here at the convention center, but now under the lights and with this crowd in here and the cameras, certainly the hearts are a thumping. Yeah, this is probably the first time for most of these people and probably many of these dogs to be in a great big ring under the lights. It's very exciting. They work all year to achieve the opportunity to be here. They have to win five shows. They have to have a 3.0 grade point average. Could you set up your dog, please? This is junior handler number 443 showing a pointer. And that is Chaz McDonald from the state of North Carolina. Been showing dogs since the age of six. He says his favorite thing about showing Thank dogs show is the, the opportunity bike, to travel all around and meet new people, see new places. 
Okay, thank you. He got involved in showing from his mom. Oftentimes, youngsters who parents can participate okay, in like the sport down and back start out back. showing. So it's really important that the junior handler move the dog at the proper pace for the dog. And the judge is going to be evaluating that right now. Also, how does the dog look when it steps in? Does the handler have command of the placement of the dog? Does the handler ever block the dog, you know, the judge from being able to view the dog? Go to the end of the line, please. So she ch tells Chaz to go to the end of the line. She's still judging him right till he gets to the very end. This is junior handler number 500 showing an Irish setter. And this is Lauren Hull from Leroy. New York, you're talking about all those things they have to remember. What's the hardest thing you think for a junior handler to kind of master? I would say would it most likely here? is what to do when you're nervous. You know, these juniors compete day in and day out on the weekends, and so the, they practice their techniques, they practice their grooming, but it's really getting co command of your nerves when it's never the same when you practice as, as it is until you do the real thing, so. And Lauren's been showing since she was eight years old. And following in the footsteps of her mother, who was a junior handler herself. And as you mentioned, such a family sport. Dog shows really are a great family sport. You get in the car, pack it up, go away with not only your family, but man's best friend. And then you f have a whole dog show family that you see on the weekends, Thank even more much. friends. Please to the end, um, okay. It's a great sport. And Lauren says her most memorable experience, she won her best junior title in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, 2009. Realized she could go places with a lot of hard work. This is junior handler number 472, showing a Doberman Pinscher. Abigail Adams from Piedmont, South Carolina, making the trip here to the Sunshine State for this event. Could you show me the bike, please? Okay. How much does dog breed and personality of junior handler kind of have to mesh. Is that important when kind of learning the sport? It's very important that you have an affinity for the breed you're showing, whether it's because you like the characteristics of the breed okay, you or you enjoy the place? process that you need to go through to actually show that breed. Dobermans are fun to show because they're usually very flashy and you can stand back and let them kind of show themselves. There's lots of different techniques to present Doberman, and so you see juniors gravitate to them sometimes as a breed. And this junior, Abigail Adams, finishing third at Westminster a couple of years ago, so certainly some great results on her resume. This is junior handler number 403 showing a Briard. From Thousand Palms, California, Casey Klang and a lovely Briard. But again, we're focusing on the handler and not the dog. It's it hard to do. It is a lovely Briard, yes, but we are focusing on Casey's Could skills handling the Briard. Casey started showing when she was five. 
she again she was born into the sport her parents have been showing dogs for over 19 years another top finisher at Westminster a second there a year ago She says her favorite part about showing is being able to spend time with her mom. They share this love and passion for dog shows, and they get to do it together. Very sweet. Sorry, I know I'm supposed to focus on Casey, but it's kind of hard not to look at that beautiful, it's a beautiful dog, too. beautiful dog, absolutely. <laughs> it's well-groomed. She's done a nice job presenting it with a well-groomed coat. I thought the judge was smiling too. Maybe she likes the Briard as well. Thank you. Yeah. Can you go to the end of the line, please? <laughs> I wonder what happened to the light. There is the light. <laughs> this is junior handler number 499 showing a Doberman Pinscher. Carly Howard from Edmond, Oklahoma with the Doberman. And dog shows really are multi-generational. Carly said she started showing with her grandmother when she was 10 years old. Could you show me the bite, please? So she's asking to show the bite because in this breed, yeah. there's a disqualification for the number of teeth. You. So in the regular dog show ring, the handler would have to show the teeth to the judge. Would you move down and back, please? Certainly a lot of folks that may have been in this position before, maybe junior handlers of the past, looking on. Great to see some of these performers, both dogs and handlers, that may be vying for a best in show in future years. Absolutely. We'll take a look at the best in show lineup and see how many of them were junior handlers <laughs> when we get to tomorrow night. I'm sure it's going to be a pretty high number. Um, might be a few in there for sure. This is junior handler number 512 showing a great dame. Well, there's no size requirement for dog or handler, <laughs> especially when dog is as big as handler in this great dame for Emma Rogers from Mansfield, New Jersey. Emma's been showing since she was nine. Show me the bike, I'm not please? sure how old she is now. She might be nine right now. I actually was this little showing this breed myself, uh, so I understand. She has to have a great command of this breed because uh, it's hard to move those legs. They're heavy. And when you're that you teeny, you have to have a very well-trained dog. Now you need to be in command, but is there an intimidation factor with such a big dog? No. This is a very great Danes are very sweet by nature. And... Uh, I think the crowd appreciates the fact that she's showing such a large breed. Ask Emma about what she likes about showing dogs. I like everything, <laughs> exclamation point. What's there not to like? You get to spend the day hanging out with your best friend. And that's very good. Thank you. Could you go to the end of the line, please? You see, she keeps the leash very tight up You're next welcome. to the dog's head so that she has really good control over the dog. <laughs> she knows her stuff. This is junior handler number 490 showing a Rottweiler. Danielle Myers here from the state of Connecticut. 
Another one that's been involved in this sport from an early age, at age nine. It's a recurring theme. <laughs> Start young. Keep keep showing. Could you show me the, the bike, please? Okay, thank you. And what Danielle says she likes most about yeah, showing is being right able to right. work with the different breeds, and she learns different things every time she shows a, a, a new breed. Maybe a future professional handler in our midst. Is it important to kind of get one breed down and then go to another, or is it good to have that all-encompassing experience? I think that it's helpful to get nailed down the one breed you like to show and do that well first, but... You know, some of these juniors will apprentice or help out professional handlers, and th that's how they get to start showing other breeds. And, you know, you have handlers who are specialists in a breed, and then you have people we call all-rounder handlers who actually are uh, Thank experienced you. in showing line, many please. different breeds. And this is how you start. Well, finally giving that bait to the Rottweil. A little kiss as well for a job well done mm -hmm. for Danielle Myers and her mate. This is junior handler number 466 showing a bull mastiff. Kristen O'Brien, home game for her here from the state of Florida. <laughs> and Kristen uh, won best junior handler at Westminster. So she's going to be trying to uh, okay, would you show me his bike, do please? best junior handler here as well. Great look from our camera folks at that showcase of the bite to the judge, Mrs. Helma Weeks. Can you go down and back, please? doing a good job of keeping him at a nice steady even pace moving in a straight line which is not always easy when you have a 90 pound dog on the other end of the leash happy tail happy dog in there thank you go down to the end of the line please That's Kristen O'Brien. This is junior handler number 449 showing a Kerry Blue Terrier. Alexis Schlott from Reinholds, Pennsylvania. Look at her work showcasing that Terry Blue bite, Terrier. Please? She's sh properly showing the head, okay, now you. the bite. Okay. Thank you. And go down and back, please. Some of these competitors that have been waiting in that line finally get that opportunity maybe to get rid of some of that nervous <laughs> energy and get moving. I always like to be at the front of the line and then have the rest of the, you know, time to watch my competition and hang out. Very intent little look there. Oh, and there's a waggy tail Thank too. You. <laughs> And a good smile from Alexis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These dogs, they love being shown. They love being in the ring. They like getting out of the house. They like spending time with their owners. It really is fun for the dogs as well. The lights are over there. <laughs> She's 
she's telling them to put the table and we have a little light there so we know it's in the right spot and she's correcting him. <laughs> this is junior handler number 413 showing a border terrier. Need the table for the little guy here, border terrier, Caleb I Campbell. He did a very interesting thing. Before he put the dog on the table, he checked to make sure that it was sturdy. Did you see that? He put his hand around the table to make sure it wasn't going to fall before he put his dog on it. It's really pretty, pretty smart. From Sumner, Washington, is Caleb. Can you show me his bike, please? Certainly success with this breed. We talked about, do you try different breeds? Do you stick with one? Caleb's one best junior handler at the Border Terrier National Specialty, three years running. He's found his breed, it sounds like. I mean, you know. And he says his favorite thing about showing is having the opportunity to spend time with his dog. That is a cute little dog. Uh, uh, watch the handlers. <laughs> I'm watching him. <laughs> this is one of my favorite breeds, I have to say. There he's there. We fixed him. Can go to the end you of ideally the line, like to have Thank the dogs, you. all the four legs square. And so sometimes you'll see they'll try to fiddle with them to get them to move just a little bit to have that perfect four square stance. This is junior handler number 437 showing a Dindy Dinmont Terrier. Another one from the state of Washington, Amy Judge from Custer, Washington. Long way from the Pacific Northwest <laughs> here to Florida. But Amy ready to go. There's only one national championship. You've got to make the trek when you qualify. Could you show me his bike, please? talk about having to win some competitions to get here, but also the focus on yeah, academics and having a well-rounded handler, good student athlete, That's if you right. will, here. When we created this event and we were discussing the junior showmanship competition, we thought it was really important that there be a, a GPA component to qualifying because, you know, academics are important. Certainly the diligence you'd see in the classroom certainly show itself in the sport of handling dogs. You learn great composure. You learn proper etiquette. You have to get dressed up. And yeah. well, it looks like he's a little itch or something. <laughs> OK, thank you. Go to the end of the line, please. This is junior handler number 414 showing a Tibetan Spaniel. And the last of our junior handlers, Colleen Longley from Granby, Connecticut. So she's been waiting it out. <laughs> and again, the judge is watching the handler, but she's also looking at the relationship too the with the dog and handler. She's intently looking at the dog because the as I was, I was taught the best handlers are almost invisible. They just melt into the background and the dog is there. Could and you you're supposed to judge the person as person's technique based on that and their proper presentation of the dog. So in the regular ring, you would be looking at the dog. In the junior's ring, you're also going to look at the dog.
Colleen, been showing dogs since age five, loves all the friends she's made along the way. So you're trying to get him to take a few steps, stand in that four square. Okay, thank you. Just go to the end of the line, please. Well, the showcase <laughs> for the junior handlers, it's through. And now it's time for the judge's decision mm -hmm. here to see okay, who's the best of the bunch. So she place. will yeah. pick uh, first through fourth placements, but the first place dog will be, first place handler will be given also the award best junior handler. So even though they'll go one, two, three, four, that number one is best junior handler. So the best handlers now will do what they can to ensure that their dog looks as perfect as possible. And if they feel like there's some aspect of the dog they want the judge to notice, they would try to show that off, whether it's the head, the neck. Like she's doing right there with her Doberman. And it's okay if they move. and. They quickly set it back. That's shown that they have good skills and they're paying attention to their dog. <laughs> She's being very deliberate. She's giving each junior their time to shine. She's doing a very nice job. Tension mounting mm -hmm. as she gets to the end of the line. <laughs> it's quiet in here right now. <laughs> she's trying to decide if she's going to move them again or not. Do you please take them around one at a time? Yep. So just when these juniors thought maybe they were going to find out, <laughs> a little more work to be done. They have to work a little harder. And why not? They all earn the chance, essentially, all to take a little bit of a victory lap here, qualifying for this national championship, and the crowd showing its appreciation. It's a big deal to be the top 12 finalists of all the junior handlers in the country. Rogers there with her great Dane getting a healthy round of applause. All these handlers in this adulation for the crowd here in Orlando will deserve. A couple more to make their last lap and then Decision time, <laughs> we think? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Elma Weeks is making us, making everybody sweat for it here <laughs> to see who's going to be the best in this class. Oh, 
Yep, looks like she's decided. Our stewards um. are Maribeth O'Neill, who's assistant vice president at the American Kennel Club, uh, Dr. Charles Garvin, AKC board of directors member, who's a junior showmanship winner himself when he was a young man. Number one is the Irish setter. And giving first place out here in the traditional format, and it is the Irish setter. You're welcome. And her Number handler, Victoria. Lauren Hull of Leroy, New York, winning that junior championship. Number three is the Great Dane. Emma Rogers there in that Great Dane taking You're third. Welcome. And number four is the Border Terrier. And the Border <laughs> Terrier coming home in fourth. That's Caleb Campbell, Your second place going to Carly Howard of Edmond, Oklahoma with the Doberman. But again, Lauren Hull and the Irish Setter, oh, yeah. the winner here this junior championship. Oh, wait a minute, where are they? Mrs. Weeks has selected Lauren Hall from New York, showing an Irish setter. Which was the number? I don't I the number. So the state of New York represented here. Lauren Hall is your junior showmanship championship in Orlando and the AKC Yukonuba National Championship.